A new hurricane advisory just in from Hurricane Harvey. Why? Because we are tracking Hurricane Harvey right now as it is making landfall and it's flooding. This is a very bad hurricane. Make sure to stay tuned for the latest information. So winds 125 miles per hour is a Cat 3, 941 millibars moving at northwest at 10 miles an hour. This is very bad. So this, so this is why this is bad. We have it on the scene right now. That eye wall right there is just about to go into the county. So that's why we're watching this county. John? Yeah, we're getting some pretty strong hurricanes here. I'd say it's enough to blow my clothes off right now. Harvey is a dangerous Cat 3 hurricane. She's in Galveston under tropical storm morning. Tracking Harvey. Next, next, north, next new hurricane advisory at 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. As you can see, this is um, very bad right now. As you can see, it's very blowing. It's probably one of the worst Texas hurricanes we've ever seen on the Weather Channel. Besides Hurricane Brett of 1999, this just takes the cake for one of the category th last Category 3 landfall in the U.S. was Wilma in 2005. Now this is another Category 3 landfall. So now this is Harvey 2017, and this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm, we understand perfectly that this is a Category 3 in a dangerous situation. Now here's a tornado threat is also increasing now for these areas in Texas City, Tiki Island, tornado warning for Galveston, Galveston, La Marque, Texas City until 4.15 p.m. And then there's also another tornado watch for Lake Charles in Louisiana. Thunderstorm forecast for Victoria, Corpus Christi, Houston, and Galveston, and Raymondville, Severe. Also, there's another tornado threat. Tornado warning, tornado threat. Hurricane Harvey is making landfall right, right now. Breaking now. A dangerous Cat 3. A dangerous Category 3 hurricane. Houston and Galveston are under a... Hurricane warning. As you can see, this is what we're dealing with, and we need Texas to know this as of right now, so it deals with this is going to be. We need to deal with the situation probably in order for it to come out properly. As you can see, Harvey is almost ashore in Texas. Category 4 winds of 130 miles per hour and is just flooding the whole entire coast. This is a flood emergency for the following counties, and if you look at Harvey on the radar, Right beside me, you can see that the eyeball is now in Corpus Christi, Texas, and is ready to blow off. Catastrophic storm surge possible. Welcome back to the Village Channel. I'm excited. Right now, we're dealing with Hurricane Irma's flood and storm surge. It's up to my knees right now. This is a scary storm. This is a very scary storm, and the reason why it's scary is because right now, those winds... A 53 miles per hour gust of 76 miles per hour. I'm in Miami. And catastrophic storm surge is very possible with this storm. It's very, very, very windy and gusty. It's only 53 miles per hour with a gust of 76. Irma's making Category 3 landfall right now with 120 miles an hour wind, which makes it so bad. That's what makes it so bad. But what's really bad is the storm surge that is catastrophic. The winds and the flood are the most dependent available for Hurricane Irma. You know, now if you take a look while we track Hurricane Irma, there's extreme wind warning for areas like Port St. Lucie and Tampa, for Naples. And it's also a very big hurricane. This looks like Wilma 2005, but it's also very bad. Jacksonville, Florida also has that extreme wind warning. And for example, here are the national key disasters that would also Pernbrack, Miami, Miramar, Miami, and Miami Lock Up Act. A high wind gust is a national key in your way. The highest wind gust is a national key is a Deer Park Woodger. That's where the highest gusts are. But if you look over here, there's a, now a tornado warning for Braver to Melbourne, a satellite beach, West Marbone, Melbourne, until 9.15 p.m. Tornado threat now increasing now for Hurricane. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to the Little Channel. Right now we are in Hurricane Maria. We are in Puerto Rico right now, and the next update is at 8 a.m. San Juan, Puerto Rico right now. It's blowing hard outside from Hurricane Maria. As you can see, this is a Category 4 with sustained winds of 155 miles per hour when it's making landfall right now. It's a very rough hurricane. Okay, so you, so you can see, so can you tell us what you're experiencing out there? Can you go outside and tell us? Well, I can tell you it's a very windy for once. I can't, I can barely even see anything, really. As you can see, Category 4 Hurricane Landfall from Hurricane Maria is occurring right now. Category 4 Hurricane, and 17 millibar pressure. Go 16 Enhanced Satellite. This is the colored satellite, as you can see, San Juan and Fajardo. That eye is right there and moving into the state of Puerto Rico with all the cities. Tracking Tropical Storm Nate right now. Um, actually, it's a hurricane, Nate. Um, actually, it's moving into the Pensacola, New Orleans area. So we expect you to keep advised. Hurricane Nate is nearing landfall right now in Orange Beach, Alabama. This is a tornado warning for Baldwin, Daphne, Ferropi, and Foley until 7 p.m. And it's a dangerous kind of thing. Right now, there's a tornado warning. There's a radar for this is where we are. Right now, I'm Chris Warren in Orange Beach, Alabama, and this is Mobile. The heaviest rain right now, I would say, is in Pensacola. I'm not sure, but here we are right now with all those lightning. I'm in the lightning, really. Um, very deadly situation as we go on.